welcome dear children today's topic is invitations this is the third topic in the first question of writing section we have already discussed notices and advertisements so here we go <clears throat> the invitations or we can say giving invitation topic has two types there are two types of invitations number one formal and number two informal i'll be telling you both these types in detail let's move on now what is the basic difference between formal and <coughs> informal invitations i'll take point by point number one Formal invitation is dominated by third person and you have to avoid first person. I hope you know what is first person, second person and third person. First person means I, me, my, myself. You, are, you have to avoid these in formal invitation. The second person is you, your, yours, etc. The third person is name of a person, he, she, etc etc so formal invitation should dominate should be dominated by third person i hope it's clear whereas informal invitation it should be dominated by first and second person these are the two persons which will be used a lot in this actually formal invitation is nothing but a card you might have received wedding cards तो ये जो वेडिंग कार्ड्स हैं या स्कूल कई बार कार्ड भेजता है इनवाइट पेरेंट्स वगैरह को बुलाने के लिए तो इस टाइप में लिखा जाता है फॉर्मल इनविटेशन एंड इनफॉर्मल इनविटेशन इज नथिंग बट एन इनफॉर्मल लेटर वेरी शॉर्ट लेटर 50 वर्ड्स इज द लिमिट ओके द थर्ड थिंग इज बिकॉज द फॉर्मल इन्विटेशन इज अ कार्ड तो द लाइन्स आर शॉर्ट लाइन्स और अन लाइन्स ओके there might be a line where we write only three words or even one word okay whereas because the informal invitation is an informal letter the lines are complete there is an exception also an invitation to a single person for a program for example to be invited as chief guest as a speaker or as a judge okay it is also a formal invitation but we don't send a card to a person you know whom we want to be the chief guest at a function can okay, we'll be discussing this later in detail so i hope it's clear formal invitation to many people okay question number 1 You are S K Joshi. Draft a formal invitation inviting people to the wedding of your daughter. Mention all necessary details. You may invent the details. Don't use more than fifty words. अब इसके लिए as usual, जैसा कि मैंने बताया कि outline is compulsory in all the topics in the short composition. That's why first of all. we draw the outline in the beginning you know you have to write invitation the word invitation at the top leaving a line in the question it is you are sk joshi and usually in family invitations you know we add mrs too so we start with mr and mrs sk joshi cordially invite you to the wedding of their daughter the name of the daughter in when the detail nisha with rahul son of mrs and mr v k sharma on 20th april 2020 at 7:30 pm at samrat lodge this is time date and venue a very very important point then mention the subject reception of parath 7:30 pm dinner 8 pm doli now it's better to write it 
in an Indian way of course it would be practical 6 a.m. write the date of the next day that is 21st April. Finally you have to use RSVP where you can use your phone number or the address. The, uh, the right hand side with best compliments from near and dear ones. You may avoid this, no problem in that. Okay. Now, once again, let me tell you in detail. The person, the invitation should start with the name of the person who is inviting. Okay. Whenever you write the name of the person, don't continue uh, with don't continue with the, uh, the in the same line. Of course, change the line as soon as the name of a person is written. Co then cordially invited. Un unfortunately, the spelling of cordially has been written wrong. I am sorry for that. D I A W L Y. Okay. Invite you to the wedding of their daughter. When you write the name of the daughter, don't write anything else in that line. You have to highlight this with Rahul, the boy whom she is going to be married to. Okay. Then the name of the boy or name of the parents of the boy, of course. Time, date, venue. Then leaving the line whenever, whenever I'm saying that leave the line at a particular place. Remember, it's not compulsory. If you don't leave the lines, no problem. But it is better to leave these lines because of the clarity. Program, reception of Bharat, 7.30 p.m. Write at least two programs in every invitation. That would be better. Okay. Ask me RSVP. Remember, I'm not very good at French, but these are French words, in fact. Respondential what plight, which means please reply. Okay. And don't write the names, etc. here. Either write the phone number or the address. I hope it is very, very clear. Okay. Now, another one. On behalf of the principal, that uh, question was related to family. Of course, let's come out of the family now. On behalf of the principal, staff and students, comma, Sharda School, Delhi, draft a formal invitation inviting people to the annual day function of the school. Mention details in about 50 words. Now, here, whenever there is a program, you know, which is to be hosted by a school, the principal, staff and the students, you know, they host the program. Okay. They invite the people and even in the question, it's very clear that you have to draft an invitation on behalf of the principal, staff and students. Even if it had not been written, it was better to start like this. Okay. So the principal, staff and students of name of the school, Sharda School, Delhi, cordially invite you to the annual day function. Highlight this fact. Once again, time, date and venue on 20th April 2020 at 10 a.m. at the school auditorium. Sometimes, you know, the I have seen so some students writing the name of a hotel, etc. Please don't do that. Okay. The function in the school should take place in the school campus itself. Now, another thing which we don't use in family invitation is the name of the chief guest. You can write any name you want, R.K. Saxena, I.A.S. <clears throat> then once again, we mentioned the programs. Welcome of Chief Guest, 10 a.m. Cultural program, 10.50 a.m. And report by the principal. The third one is very, very important, in fact. And this is the highlight of an annual day, where the principal reads the report, the achievements, the shortcomings and everything related to the school. Finally, RSVP, the phone number of the school, and that's done. I hope it's clear. <clears throat> now, you have to try this one all by yourself. You are Anurag Kapoor, living at 66 Vivek Vihar, Delhi. Draft a formal invitation inviting people to the 10th birthday celebration of your daughter at your residence. Okay, it's very, very simple. I've already told you how to write the family 
invitations in a formal way and I'm confident that you'll be able to do it now. Okay. English to English bull run. Thoda baut. Vaisi I'm using very very simple English. And very slowly I'm telling you. So I hope you'll be able to understand everything. Okay. Let's move on to the informal invitations now. Please note that this invitation is written in an informal letter format. Don't create a card. Please don't draft a card. Okay. The marks will be deducted as far as the format is concerned. If your format is wrong, one mark is deducted. Now, let's take a question. Let's take an example. You are VK Goyal living at 44 Krishnanagar Pulinche. Draft an invitation, informal invitation to your friend Mukesh inviting him to your 25th wedding anniversary party. Mention details in about 50 words, right? Because this is the first one, let me give you an example. All right, I've tried to make it very, very simple. And please be creative and don't mug anything up. Okay, let's see. Once again, outline is compulsory because it is an informal letter format, of course, to you write your own address, whatever the address is given. Because you are VK Koyal here, your address 44, Krishnanagar Bulanshire is to be written at the top. Then leave a line. The date, today's date, 11th April 2020. Then again leaving a line, Dear Bokesh, I am pleased to inform you that I and my wife are going to complete 25 years of our wedding life, seeing many ups and downs, full stop. I cordially invite you to a party on 15th April at 7 p.m. at Star Hotel Bulanshire to celebrate the occasion. Do come with family and we friends will enjoy a lot. Yours affectionately, VK Goyal. This, here you know, it is very, very essential to mention the time, date and venue. Okay. Another mistake which is usually committed by the children is that in such letters they write yours sincerely or yours faithfully. Please don't do that. In informal letters we don't use sincerely or faithfully we use affectionately all right now this was an example let's move on now please try this all by yourself you are Mukul Sharma living at 24 Lakshmi Nagar Kanpur you have been selected in IAS draft an informal invitation inviting your friend Manish to the party you are going to organize to celebrate your success okay try this one to organize it is please let me make a correction not to organize it is to organize to celebrate your success okay now finally exception I'll be using Hindi as well as English remember so that it is very very clear to you and there is no confusion at all this again is a formal invitation. Remember, I have told you that you have to create a card in formal invitation. But as I told you, this is an exception. This formal invitation is a specific for one person. When you write one person, obviously, you will not send a card to him. So this formal letter, no card to be made, remember? And the format is in form of a formal letter. Remember this please. Okay. The language normal letter language. Alright. So what we have to do here is question ke through samajlete. You are Dr. Bhupendra Singh, the principal of Santosh International School. Draft a formal invitation requesting the district magistrate of Pulinchar to be the chief guest of the school annual day function. Okay. Mention details in 50 words. Because I'm going to give you only one question, you know, I'll write certain aspects. I won't write certain aspects. And then later on, I'll tell you the value points. All right. And try to complete the letter 
which let me tell you is in an un incomplete form okay now in formal letter first of all at the top we write the sender's address and here the sender is dr bupinder singh and the school is santosh international school bulanshar so you have to write the name of the school first leave one line write today's date 11th april 2020 again leave one line the district magistrate bulanshar okay this is called address of the addressee means receiver's address it is okay leaving one line because it is a formal letter you have to mention a subject invitation to be the chief guest so i am pleased to inform you that we are going to organize the 15 15th annual day function on all right do it yourself you have to mention the time of the program the time of the function date as well as the venue will be honored if you accept to be the chief guest on that occasion okay uh, write something catchy later on right and then ask for confirmation right you have to and this is a very very important point don't mention it one mark will be deducted if you don't do that right kindly respond right ya kindly confirm your presence that day right otherwise of course we'll have to make alternate arrangement yours sincerely dr bhupinder singh principal all right now these are the i should say two types of invitations formal and informal and i have also told you an exception which is to be taken care of okay to aaj ka topic samajh mein aa gaya बिल्कुल सिंपल इंग्लिश यूज़ कर रहा हूँ ध्यान रखिएगा हालांकि कुछ बच्चों के मुझे रिस्पॉन्स मिले थे एंड दे वॉन्ट मी टू यूज हिंदी मो चलिए आगे वाले वीडियो में ख्याल रखेंगे एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिप्लाई टू द इन्विटेशन टमोरो राइट टिल देन गुड बाय गुड लक